Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on the field today. It's Murray's Titans going up against Miller's Texans. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A few moments ago, this crowd whipped into a frenzy as J.J. Watt and the Texans' D was introduced, and this unit will be in for a stern test as they match up with the Tennessee Titans. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. Oh, look at that. Marcus Mariota trotting out there with the rest of the Tennessee offense. They put up 37 points against Jacksonville Week 2, Charles. Marcus threw for 215 yards, a touchdown, also an interception. Yeah, nice bounce-back win for the Titans, though, led by Marcus Mariota. Because remember, opening day was against Oakland, and we remember the matchup with Derek Carr, and Carr's Raiders got them that day. Well, guess what? Coming up for the Tennessee Titans? Well, they got Seattle. A visit from Russell Wilson to the Seattle Seahawks. And, yes, he plays against the Seahawks' defense. But he's also playing against that opposite quarterback, Russell Wilson. Can he bring his game up to that level and give his Titans a, a chance for victory? I think he can. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. No other way to say it, but it was an off year for DeMarco Murray in Philadelphia and Chip Kelly's offense. Didn't really seem to be a fit. But when he went to Tennessee playing for Mike Malarkey, boy, did he fit in a big way. Finished third in the NFL in rushing behind Ezekiel Elliott and a late charging Jordan Howard. He was ahead of Howard much of the year. I remember Coach Malarkey in preseason said, DeMarco Murray's my number one back. He'll get plenty of carries here, and he did. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run the counter with Murray. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Let's discuss the running backs for Tennessee as we see their starters here on offense. You got DeMarco Murray had the hamstring issue. That opened the door for Derrick Henry. He had a pretty good game in week two, 92 yards and a touchdown. He was ready to assume that role because of the work he put in in the offseason. He knows the head coach, Mike Malarkey, wants DeMarco Murray to be the lead back and take most of the carries. That's who he trusts. But that didn't mean that Derrick Henry spent the offseason not working out. He got it together, worked on his game, worked on his craft, and when his number was called, he was there in a big way in their Week 2 victory. They go with Murray again. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. He may not look the part of an inside linebacker because he's so tall and lengthy, Zach Cunningham can fend off blocks, and he can flat-out run and make plays. He was so good at Vanderbilt. Led the SEC with 125 tackles last year. Wound up a first-team All-American. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. 
from the shotgun. It's Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. In his 10th year, here's Brett Kern to punt this one. Back deep for the Texans, Will Fuller. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And Deshaun Watson bringing out the Houston Texans offense. Tell you what, Charles, he had quite a 22nd birthday, making his first NFL start, and his 49-yard touchdown run was the only touchdown in that game. Yeah, how about everything that was going against him that week, right? Short week of preparation. As you mentioned, first start in the NFL against one of the better defenses that he's likely to face. And he had an ankle injury that he overcame. Deshaun Watson always has played with poise. They go play action here on first down. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. If this Tennessee team is going to be one to watch, if they're going to be a factor in 2017, that pass defense has to improve. They were number 30 last year. As a team, they should be more comfortable with the schemes that they're playing as well as being able to add a few new ones because they've stayed stable on the defensive side and their staff. So what they're teaching now, they've learned before. They should be able to tune that up a little bit and get better play on the back end in order to improve that number from 2016. First and ten, Watson. And this one complete to Will Fuller. And he's brought down. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. fake here on first down. Going deep for Hopkins. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Starting lineup here for Houston and in their game last week, we talked about the backfield, Charles Lamar Miller and Deontay Foreman. They were really pretty even. 3.4 yards per carry for Miller, 3.3 for Foreman. Yeah, neither one of those is really impressive, but that will get better as the season goes along because Lamar Miller can do a little bit of everything. Can run it, can catch it, pass protect. And Deontay Foreman, he's like the diesel truck coming at you. Big man with football, he can wear down defenses. Now a first carry for Lamar Miller. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. We look now at the defensive starters for Tennessee, and this group, pretty good effort in week two, holding Jacksonville to 16 points. A concerted team effort, too, because they knew the rookie runner, Leonard Fournette, had put 100 yards up in the season opener, and their victory right out of the gate for Jacksonville against Houston. So they said, well, we got to stop this guy. Everyone in the box, make sure he has no place to run the football, and that helps shut down the Jacksonville attack. Here we go. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. 
Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's Watson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Throwing again on second and ten. Watson over the middle, and it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To the air yet again, Watson. Then he's got the completion to Hopkins. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, it has to be pinpoint here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. In the red zone this time. Again, it's Watson. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, a five-yard touchdown. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense, you can have a lot to handle in this one. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Begin the drive with a run by Murray. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. 
And a look now at the defense for Houston. The Houston Texans in 2016 on defense defied convention. Why? J.J. Watt missed most of the season, so you would expect them to struggle a little bit. But in fact, this was the number one overall defense in the NFL. They stopped the run, forced teams to throw the football, and really got after them with a terrific pass rush. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Mariota. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I I'm, like it. I'm feeling it. Here's Brett Kern now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will be taken at the 13. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return, and the Texans take possession. And here comes the Texans now. now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. the give now Watson blitz coming and down he goes Sylvester Williams with a great push up front he picks up the sack and a loss of eight sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not gonna fool anyone I don't know if that was the case here but the end result was the same no one fooled quarterback was hit And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On second down, here's Watson. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, Watson going deep for Hopkins. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively.
Here now, Shane Leckler, 41-year-old punter, to kick it away. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. The quick feet by Jackson. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what kind of a play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Again, it's Murray. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Murray and he's got room and he takes it across midfield to the 45 a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's gonna have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down This is Derrick Henry. There he goes inside the 30. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That good for 19 and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back.
And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Mariota. The swing pass caught. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails? Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a Tennessee score. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. <laughs> and he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. He'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he will find his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. Seven all is the score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Again, it's Miller. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Let's go! 
first down carry now for Miller. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Try the air now with Watson. And they'll hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Normally when I talk about DeAndre Hopkins, I'm talking about accomplishments. In this case, I'm remembering that he lost nearly 600 yards in receiving from 2015. He had less than 1,000 last year. Yeah, and his touchdowns dropped from 11 to 4, so now he's hoping for more consistent quarterback play. Watson on first down. Able to power through. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Watson hands to Miller on the draw. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Here's Shane Leckler now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Texans' defense, we watch them get set to go. And a touchdown given up the last time they were out there, so maybe need to refocus a little bit. And make sure that they don't start finger-pointing with each other, because oftentimes when a touchdown's given up, you say, okay, where did that happen? Who broke down? Who gave it up? Instead, just go back out there, be a unit again, and try and play a little bit better. Yeah, see if they can play a little bit better on this drive. Play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. 
In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run here. It's Murray. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. I know it's the first half, but it's still hard to curb the enthusiasm for that stop. Third and one, and the offense can't get there. The defensive team has got to feel very good about themselves. Great job out leveraging the offense. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. And we see his collection of highlights. He's always so tough to cover. He really is, and there are plenty of reasons why. Runs great routes, has an understanding of what defenses want to do against him, and really has a great determination to go up and get the football. He decides it's his and no one else's. And he's decided that a lot so far in this game. First down throw, Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Second is Watson. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes is quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Watson going to give this one to Miller. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, here's Miller. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. On 
first down. Watson looking sideline incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. This is Miller. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Down, it's Watson. Caught here by Griffin. And he gets it down to the 32. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? This is Deontay Foreman, and he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Texans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Here's Watson. Complete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Now the Texans are going to call on the field goal unit. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. I don't think this will even... Nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Out come the Titans now. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. They go play action. Mariota. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Here's Mariota throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second down now after the incompletion. This is Murray. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Now, they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. They begin with a run by Miller. Sheds off the tackle. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. A huge play there for Houston. 44 yards on the ground. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before that. three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Throwing again is Watson. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? 
you're likely going to have to. The Texans on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. From the gun, here's Watson. And that's incomplete. Not only was that a three and out, it was a third straight incompletion on this drive, and they didn't even think about trying to run the football. Now they have to give it up. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And this one is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they had great field position, but a three-play drive that actually goes backwards, and then they kick the field goal. And I think the key sequence in there, the key phrase you just gave us, a three-play drive. Had the momentum, great field position, unable to move the football. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And some room to work. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Titans. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. Suck up for the extra point. And that makes it 14 10. He covered every yard of the field plus one in the end zone. A 101 yard return there. Electric. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And we focus on Lamar Miller as he heads back out there and gets set to go again on offense. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, OK, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's been yeah and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground not start to go through the air as much Let's go. on first and ten Watson setting up the screen for Miller and a pretty little juke move there on a nice game a good first down call as the screen play gets a nine Watson trying to get his guys moving Here's Watson now on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. 
but once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. The Texans on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here we go. Brand 38. Brand 38. Watson now from the gun. He'll throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Shane Leckler now as he's on to punt for Houston. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. First down, Mariota. Rashard Matthews here on the catch. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. They'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. So the offense has it first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Now he's going to go deep down the left. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helm and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock.
Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And Suckup will put this one right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10 a little bit of time left here in the second quarter but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead yeah that's got to feel good but they can't let up now on the kickoff they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves Suckup now set to kick it off following the main field goal. This is taken at the three. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Watson on first and ten. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot, balls out of his hands. Receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took a snap, he counted it his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. There they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The Texans are on the bad end of things at home. We'll have two quarters to turn it around. The Titans deserve to be ahead, but we'll need to put together another strong half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Texans on first and five. Hopkins is wide open here on the catch, capping off an eight-play drive with a TD. The Texans is up now by seven. Now first and ten, Williams is able to zero in on the QB here. This will go for a loss of eight. Third down from the 25. Walker is by himself here, and this goes 25 yards for the score. As that'll tie the score at 7 all. Texans on the kickoff. The return will start from the 49. He gone as he sprints into the end zone. They're now on top by four. Thank you, LR. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. 
typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second half begins with a run from Miller, and the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They'll run it again with Miller. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. The Texans on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. Let's go! One, nine, ten. To throw is Watson. Operating from the gun. Going deep for... They've got his man complete. The 20, 10, touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 78 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Point after here coming up. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and the result, a Houston touchdown. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Adore Jackson on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense tie game we'll see what the second half brings and it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side but here do you change up anything on this opening drive not offensively you don't you've got everything going your way you've probably prepared for maybe some change ups you might expect but overall you like what your game plan showing you they'll try and get the running game going here with Murray and now running right through it. He finds an opening past the 40. DeMarco Murray kiss him goodbye. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. DeMarco Murray, 74 yards. And the Titans are going to take the lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Extra point try now for Suckup. And they will take a seven-point lead now. 
So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Play action here on first down. Looking deep downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third, Watson. The catch made by Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. So here we go, first and 10 now. Let's go! One, now a play fake here on first down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Houston. Braxton Miller, 46 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone.
So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. On play action, Mariota. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. That was second down run for Murray. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. The Titans on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And he hits his man, Matthews. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. A first down throw for Mariota. That one finds the rookie tight end, Janu Smith. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Off the play fake, Mariota. And his pass incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. The Titans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. To the air again, Mariota. It's caught at the 10. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. 
This game has the feel of what a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like. Like they're drawing them up in the dirt, and so far it's working for both of them. And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. That's going to set them back five yards. Still second down. Second down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at a third and goal here. From the gun, Mariota. <laughs> Gets around him, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Suckup will put this one right through. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So it's an old school extra point, but certainly a disappointment that they couldn't get six. Yeah, when you see 19 yard field goal in the box score, you kind of shake your head. But their head coach decided three was enough. Suckup now set to kick it off following the made field goal. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And a look now at Lamar Miller. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Play fake, and it's Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. 
And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there at 22. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now Watson. Underneath for Miller. Breaks through the contact. Texans passing game in rhythm right now. Picking up another first. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner. Get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. set of downs here. Come on, let's go. They'll run with Miller. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. the penalty it's Miller and heavy contact he is knocked down hard just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down well played I must say yeah only getting one yard there was no room to run and ready now for second and nine Miller will get it. He has been busy today. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Watson hands this to Foreman. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. Try the air now with Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result. Usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. A drive that time of six plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Marcus Mariota getting ready to go again here on offense. He's hoping to channel his first half play. They had the lead at halftime, was playing well. Flip the script here in the third quarter a little bit. I think he misses the Pee Wee days, you know, <laughs> when you just got the orange slice yeah. at halftime, yeah. right? And remember, weren't any real adjustments then, right? You weren't looking at some tape, right? You weren't looking at stuff off of the, the surface tablets. You just went back out and played. Right now, maybe the adjustments have caught up to him. Well, we'll see. Maybe he just needs a couple orange slices here for this drive. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And Davis with it left side. And now the rookie's free. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there. 81 yards. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches a football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Suck up for the extra point. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now here's Suck up out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Deshaun Watson and the Texans offense trot back out there. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> With what he's doing in this contest, I'm not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front, despite the fact, as you said, we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. Off of play action, it's Watson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The Texans on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. 
Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the yeah, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here's Shane Lackler now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. things. So we've got a challenge. Our referee is going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that will be considered a fumble. recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Wendy Merciless leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. To throw is Mariota. And complete to the tight end Walker right side. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. 
the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Brett Kern now. He's been terrific so far. This is brought in at the 21. 12 yards on the return that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out comes Houston. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Down, it's Watson. And he's got Fuller. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. lining up first and ten. Let's go. Try it, try it. From the gun, here's Watson. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. And now a first down following that long game. From the red zone now, Watson. This will be caught just inside the 10. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly, and now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. First and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. To throw on second is Watson. Got a man open. It's Fuller for the Texans touchdown. Will Fuller, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And that score gives us our sixth lead change of the game. Are we back on the playground on the seesaw? On the seesaw battle, yeah. Right. Up and down, up and down. What a game we've watched here. It's been fun. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that will make this a four-point game. Five 
plays there on that drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position maybe, turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Catch and run, 67 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield, but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And now the offense operates in the red zone. From the red zone now, Mariota. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. The six yards on the pickup and it leaves him with a first and goal. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They run with Murray, and he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit at the four-yard line. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. From the four, it's second and goal. Mariota hands to Henry. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. 
But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Now Mariota got a man and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And we focus on Lamar Miller as he heads back out there and gets set to go again on offense. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, He's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. On first down, Watson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And on second and ten now. Watson off play action going deep for Hopkins so the long attempt falls innocently to the ground and it brings up third I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield who knows how to get the ball into the end zone you throw it up and give him every opportunity even though that one fell incomplete yeah he's already been in the end zone multiple times tried to target him again deep there but unsuccessful Throwing on third down, Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Griffin. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. 
so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's Shane Leckler now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. the 22. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. A 20th carry coming up now for Murray. Murray with a nice move. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Mariota to throw it. Walker with a grab, left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. It's Murray. No gain on the play there. Second down. The fourth quarter here. They've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. So second and 10 here. They'll try to throw now, Mariota. He will find Davis on the left side complete. They call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Red zone opportunity. Murray 
Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. And now out comes Houston. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. A run. It's Murray. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down at the eight-yard line. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They set up the screen for Henry. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. So some pressure now on the kicker, Ryan Sucka from the left half. Should be a fairly easy one here. And Sucka will put this one right through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. Suckup now set to kick it off following the main field goal. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And this is a spot where you can learn a lot about a young quarterback. And that's why they brought him into the organization. Because you don't just bring them in strictly for their talents. You think that they have that something special in them. 
that will allow them to function in these types of situations. Now it's time for them to be clinical and not emotional. You know your play sequence. You know what has to get done. Get the ball to the right people. Get out of bounds and get it downfield and try and score. Yeah, he's trying to earn his stripes here for a winning drive. They'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was looking there for Bruce Ellington. And it's second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. He'll look to throw. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? Guys, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. to throw. He gets this one to Bruce Ellington. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Here we go! Man 38! Man 38! He's back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The protection really holding up that time. That's what you want in the two-minute drill, but the coverage equally is good. Yeah, I'd say it was protection both sides, right? Get it for the quarterback, make sure he had time to throw the football, and he did. Plenty of time, but nowhere to go with it downfield. So the coverage, as you noted, terrific. Watson now to throw. There on the catch, Alfred Blue. That burst good for 20 and a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. So the penalty by the offense, and now they face a first and 15. Here we go. Now Watson. His throw incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Come on, let's go. Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Hey, 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 Let's go. 
Now it's Watson. They find some open field here. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Give him six on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Watson trying to get his guys moving. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. That's caught right side by Anderson. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. And the Titans getting set to go. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off, and, <laughs> hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Well, now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They go with Murray again. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And now the Texans want to call another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Titans go victory formation as they take an E. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. should be in.
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long from Houston.